What's up, guys? Shane Larson here with the Game Time Grind. Been a couple of weeks since I've been able to get some content out there. I was actually sick for a few weeks, but today I want to talk about this discussion that I had with Nate Daniels on my podcast. If you guys haven't watched that episode, go and check it out. Um, Nate Daniels was an awesome guest, former professional football player. He's an author, he's a speaker, and he's a trainer. And one of the uh, points of the discussion that we had was how athletes don't actually watch a lot of the sports that they're competing in anymore. Like they don't watch it and study it. And that is interesting to me um, because it's so true. You know, I was talking to him and then I did some reflecting as a basketball coach myself and just being around high school athletes all the time. The amount of kids that I've been around that I've asked, like, who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite player? Do you watch these games? No, I don't really watch the games. I can't believe the amount of responses I get that are like that. I seriously can't. Like, I hate being that guy that's like, oh, back in my day, I did this. But r- the reality is I did. Like, I mean, I, I spent a lot of my free time watching basketball and watching football. And if I played video games, it was either NBA Live or Madden, right? And I, I actually believe wholeheartedly that those video games helped me understand the games. Like Madden, I have already talked about this before. That game actually used to help me understand coverages and it helped me understand how to put a guy in motion to figure out if they're in a zone or a man, like the little basic things that you learn in football. Like Madden helped me understand that. Uh, same thing with NBA Live. Like it helped me understand different sets and how to how to run things and timing and spacing. But watching the game of basketball, it's so it's so beneficial because you can see the spacing and you can see how guys move and you can see like if you're watching the game, you can watch your favorite players, players that you might be more like, right? So for me, um I was always like a Mike Miller or a Kyle Korver, uh, just like, you know, not saying that they're not athletic, but they're not going to be, uh, they're not going to shake, shake and bake, right? They're not just going to ISO you and then beat you on a crossover, but they will shoot lights out. They'll find a way to get open and they'll get physical on defense. They're going to play with a lot of effort. That was kind of how I played. So I like to watch guys that I was kind of like, you know what I mean? The guys that I knew that's the kind of style of basketball I was going to be playing. So I like to watch how they spaced on the court, what they were doing on the like off ball stuff, and then watch how they play defense, you know, you know, on ball defense, off ball. Like if you know that you're at a disadvantage defensively, how do you angle your body to try to give yourself an advantage? And how do you do certain things? That's all what I got through watching basketball, right? I got that through watching basketball and just studying the game. And, and, and I never really thought of it as anything crazy, but I just, I would watch a lot of basketball. I'd watch a lot of football. That's what I did, you know? And um, my seven-year-old has become obsessed with watching basketball. He doesn't care who's playing. He's just watching the game. And I, and I, I smile when he says that, like, he's like, oh, the Bucks are playing tonight. And I'm just happy to hear that because a lot of kids these days don't spend a lot of time watching the game that they play. And I just find it mind, mind boggling. Like, how can you expect to get better if you're not studying the game, studying players that are doing it at the highest level, you know? You want to learn from those guys that are at the highest level, but you've got to watch the sport. Um, man, there's a reason that a lot of guys that are in there, old, like guys and girls, I should say, just a lot of people that are older, they have opinions and, and analysis based on like eras of basketball or eras of whatever sport. And it's because they spend a lot of time watching it. So they know how to like break down the eras of basketball and just the style of play and the change in the, in the style of play that has occurred over the years. And, um, man, I just wish, I wish more kids would get on board with watching the game. Like if you're playing video games and stuff, that's cool. Go, go have your out. But I think there's just a lot more distractions with people. I honestly don't think that kids are more social either than we were. We watched a lot of sports, but we also hung out and played a lot of sports and we hung out and and had fun with our friends. I thought we were more social with our interactions back then too but we watch the sports that we like. Like we'd talk about the games the next day at school. Like, Hey, did you watch this? Did you watch that? And we would talk about the players and we'd argue about the games at school. Cause we'd be rooting against each other for our teams and stuff. And we did that for years. I still watch the games, you know? And so, um, it's just crazy. Uh, when Nate brought that up in our, in our podcast interview, I, I realized, man, it's so true. These kids are just not studying the game. 
But my message to you guys is this. If you do that, it will give you an advantage. It helps you have a higher IQ of the game of basketball. Now, not every player that you watch is playing it the right way or whatever, but you can see that. You can start to see how people move on the court. Um, you get more of a realistic viewpoint of like how things work on the court like or, or on, the, on the football field or whatever it is, that the sport that you're playing. You get to see how they play the game good or bad. You get to see the mistakes they make. You get to see the sets that they run. And and you get to see the elite level in which they compete. I think we, if you watch a lot of those, you know, you watch enough professional sports or even, you know, uh, collegiate athletics, you get to see, you'll, you'll notice like how consistently good they are if they're playing at a high level. We almost become numb to it because we're like, oh, they're professional athletes are always good. But like, there's a reason that they're always good. They're putting in a lot of work, but you watch what they do consistently, game in and game out, and then you start to realize, like, oh, this guy's not necessarily a shooter normally, uh, but today he's going off. Or normally he is a shooter, but his shot's not falling. How is he playing? Oh, he normally is really good about rebounding, and he's really aggressive still, even if his shot's not falling. You start to understand the tendencies of certain players that you watch, and that helps you in your own sport. Because then you can go and compete and you realize like <clears throat> you can find tendencies in your competitors, you can find tendencies in your teammates, and you can help elevate based on the the stuff that you know about the guys that you're around. And that can come from, you can learn that skill set by just watching the game. So anyway, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but doing some reflecting after Nate Daniels and I spoke on the show and uh, just the, the whole concept of just watching the game and studying it seems to be a lost art. So I'd encourage all the athletes and the parents and everyone to encourage your athletes to watch the the sports in which they're competing in. Watch that. Like spend time watching that um, so you can learn a little bit more. So if you guys want to check out my podcast, it's called The Game Time Guru. This is The Game Time Grind, which is a segment that I have on YouTube, but it's called The Game Time Guru Podcast. If you want to listen to my interview with Nate Daniels, um, I have it linked here on the, on the uh, video here on YouTube, and I'd love to chat with you guys. So Hit me with that follow, and we'll be coming to you with more information, more content. Every Friday is a new podcast interview, and then throughout each week, I'll try to do more videos like this one. Talk to you guys soon.